you want to convert it as an integer yes we can do that as well same way string dot two integer like two string you have done you need to do it as two integer so that is also possible provided that is real integer otherwise you get a error message could not convert the value right so this is also allowed so now we have seen simple variable declaration assigning the value to the variable and integer then we have done with concatenation of integer that is i want to concatenate two integers i don't want to concatenate integers as my other normal arithmetic simple thing what you need to do is you have to treat it as a string then concatenate then finish it off so for example i like to now string var5 equals var1 dot concat right concatenation is a string so it is string of value of i am concatenating an integer value of integer i1 i2 i3 so i1 right so i can do it in this way also if i want to convert two integers concatenate string var6 equals so two integers i like to convert string of value of integer value i1 right then dot concat then again string dot value of or i use here i4 concat i4 i4 we have made it as an integer so i4 dot to string that's it so this is also allowed so there is an error there is a work bracket problem so if you go to the error he will exactly describe what is delete this token so we have two tokens so it is not allowed to do yeah it is now done so now i want to put login for so var for var for login for var for is already done var5 is concatenate var5 then plus var6 is Right, colon equal to then plus var six. So I put it in the same way. Is colon equal var five. Then it is done. Put it in the bracket. End semicolon. Finish up. Now you have put in a one. log info you have put var for var5 and var6 both you have put it in the single log that is also fine it is acceptable run it now if you understand the basic everything is a object dot action so object here given the variables are considered as an object so for for that object all the allowed methods are part of the intelligence if you understand this then it becomes very simple very easy as well now if you see here var5 rft and 5 var6 520 
520 is because phi and 20 are concatenated. It is not real phi 20. Phi and 20 are concatenated. Because of that, you see now it is showing as a phi 20. Right? This graph, I want to take it as a int integer and then I want to add it with the i1. I can do that as well. So I want to convert back this vastex because vastex is is a string, but I want to convert it as an integer. That's fine. So now integer i seven equals I want to add i four plus right. I want to add i four plus vastex dot to ah, it is not allowing me to convert it to int. One thing the available methods were here you can do it. When I want to convert it, I want to put it as a vertex dot. So then if you put C2, only you have a two string again, you have uppercase, you have a trim. You have a character array, you have a lower case. You don't have an option to convert into uh, integers directly. So you don't have an option to convert it into integers directly. So this important point is what is allowed, what is not allowed, you have to be careful. Of course, any uh, limitations, you can always learn it through uh, this is the site we in the initial period. Uh, this is the site available, wpschools.com, for any beginners, that's a useful site, you can learn lot of things from there as well. So now, I am not able to convert that into directly as an integer. So this, you have to be very careful how you are defining a variable and what is possible to be done, what is not possible to be done. Of course, there are several other methods, but let us first go with the simple thing that we have. What is possible? If I put the whatever value I want to put, put a dot, if I will get the intelligence. So, integer to string easy to convert, whereas string to integer, I have to do it first, I have to check whether it is really the value is uh, integer, then only I can do the conversion. The reason is, Somebody puts integer to string to integer and they give a value of a, b, c, d. Then it becomes an exception. That is why it is not being allowed. So that is simple conversion is not allowed. So you need to validate whether that string contains only the integer value. I have to check it is numeric. Once that check is valid, then I need to take it as a numeric. So anyway, so that we are not getting into that now. So this are preliminary management of string objects, right? String integer we have seen as of now. The next we are moving ahead. So of course we have seen the arithmetic operation. You can apply a, a, a multiplication, division, any of this you can do it over here. Integer will accept only the int value without decimal. If I want to do a division between a, a two values, which can be a fraction, I need to declare it as a float. Float i6, i5, i4 I have given. So i5 equals, so I want to put i1 divided by i, i1 divided by i2. It, it is the decimal. So then I have to make it as a float. Right, so I can now convert this float. I want to put it in the uh, system out. I can use the system out as well as I can use the then tell them. So I will say here I5. Very simple this. When I want to info log, log info, I need to now convert that into string string dot value of, value of I want to convert the float value. What is the float value? I5 is the float value. 
So I now converted that into the float. So both is possible. So still dot value of convert anything into the string. So we just so we can always ask can I convert integer in that way? Integer. So i4 dot i4 dot. What is that? You have you have a allowed values. I can convert it into a float. I can convert it into an integer. I can convert to string. I can do whatever I want. So all these are the prime preliminary methods available for us to use it. Perfect. So if I if you want methods of integer assets, so I N T E G R integer dot you can use this. These are all the methods available under integer. Right. So value of string is also there. Integer value of string. That means converting the integer into a value. So I can use this method to convert an integer into a string. Of course, if you do it in any other thing, it will be done. So methods are available. It is up to us to just put our mind to get the answer to it. So we are now finish this. We just uh, I'll put that. Anyway, I will do that vertex. Uh, string vertex we have done. String I want integer. Integer i6 i6 already done. No, i6 I will do now. i6 equals. I convert now integer of value of string. Which value of string I want to convert? I want to convert now string. The string is vertex. So vertex I am converting now. Right? Then I want to do addition. Just say now I one. Right? I can do that now. So we are now converting now the integer that is the string into an integer. Next, is I put a system or info log info converted string to integer and added value is plus uh, plus what to do I six dot string to string that's it so i put a call end so converted the string to integer and added the value is and added value is i6 to string so i6 is converted into now integer let us see now how it works So yes, sum up with the report. There was no error. So yes, sum up with the report now. So 520 is the variable 5. That is 520. 520 is converted into integer plus 5. We have added. Whereas if you see here, it is close. We have got 0.00. It is not sum up with the new value. The reason is we have not given what is the decimal we need to take out. Because by the time you have to make it as point not two, so it is not. It is converted into single decimal. So we need to give the decimal how much decimal you want to get converted. So that is also needs to be given. And I need to convert that five and ten, and then uh, give the floating value. Then it becomes. You get the value. So we we have seen now some basics of what is 
so called string manipulation integer declaration and what is how do you convert from string to integer integer to string and how do you manage that with a simple arithmetic operation so tomorrow we will get into loops conditional statements right and then manage little bit of exception with time permit and then some finer features of rft will touch so we will end the session with this now if you have any questions feel free to ask the question uh i can uh, share it uh, today's recorded session as well so only problem is the coordinators are not working so that is the reason is possible to capture objects by coding it is see how you will add it to the test object map is the answer that you have to give If you are able to add it to the test object map, then coding can be done. If you are not able to add it to the test object map, it is not possible. In Java, everything is possible. I can add the object through code into the object map as well. Right? I can manage the object in the so-called descriptive programming of Java. That is also possible. Anyway, we are not getting into that level. So we can manage objects without. adding the object into the repository that is called descriptive programming it is possible thank right. so that's it we'll uh that's about tomorrow we'll start at the time that you have usually come thank you Thanks a lot. Have a nice day. Have a nice week ahead. Bye.